<clears throat> on my way to go move those cows to a new paddock. <clears throat> but I thought I'd show you our winter wheat. Uh, this is, I think it was earlier mid-September. Um, we seeded this. This is the uh, field that um, I did the videos of the chisel plow <clears throat> and then seeding them with the, with the four-wheeler and heroin and etc. This is that that uh, field. I'm using my tripod mount to hold my camera. Um, it actually kind of works really well. So um, anyway, this um, you see the goats like it. I think what they're the goats are eating the weeds out of it. Uh, so we do have a weed, pig weed, uh, lambs quarter problems out here. That's half the reason why it got tore up. Um, it's getting late. It's uh, October 29th right now. Uh, but this is what our four wheeler did. Um, it's a solid sea of green. There was a couple skips out here. Uh, I think I'm standing on one of them and then the other one is right here dad did seed some uh, just threw some rye seed out on it uh, and it looks like it's came up it's, it's probably so that's um it's probably Six, eight inches tall, uh, or six inches tall. It's um, I guess I won't uh, start grazing it yet because time to turn a hundred head out on here. They'll have it mowed down in a day, so we're just gonna let it grow up. Um, more than likely, the, our fall calves will chew this off, like I've mentioned before. Uh, but. I wish our grass looked this good. <clears throat> this will be grazed out uh, more than likely and depending on what next spring brings, uh, it'll be harvested as hay and more so probably the earlier the better because I need, I need to seed it back to something in the spring. Uh, whether this, this one will probably We'll uh, seed back to uh, uh, brome grass alfalfa. Um, we'll see what the. I would like to kind of maybe use these annual crops to kind of get rid of some of our weeds competition before I start putting expensive seed out here, because uh, winter wheat and rye is like is cheap. <clears throat> but you start putting alfalfa and, and uh, brome grass, it gets expensive, and so I, I kind of wanted to, you know, maybe use the annual crops to smother out some of the weeds and then also give us, you know, some time to spray. Spray them and get them under control, but still be growing a crop. But this, uh, this, uh, this is way better than what was out here before we tore it up. I mean, even if that's all it ever grows, uh, we got more, more forage off of it just on this than what it was going to grow back up here so I'm really happy with it um the goats love it but they're they're they are standing in a in a skip right now and they're they're eating they're eating some weed of course but they're I'm pretty sure they're rooting around for the weeds because that's kind of what a goats like <laughs> Right now the goats make more money than the cows do, so we just need a bunch more. I think he's eating wheat. Everybody else is out here taking it easy. It is kind of warm today, that's why they're kind of, kind of panting. It's been cold. It's warmed up for like two days and it's gonna get cold again. But yeah, that's 
That's what it looks like. So yeah, we do have a lot of lambs quarter kind of coming in, but um, that's going to freeze off soon. Do have some more gopher, whatever, ground squirrels making their homes out here. That was the biggest reason was this whole field was littered with that. So it was a, you had to mow and bale in like three miles an hour because it's so rough. <laughs> so we need to probably bring our gopher bombs out here and take care of them. But that's uh, that's the winter wheat field um, that you guys saw me uh, do. Um, looks pretty good uh, so far. So I guess we'll just keep you posted on it. So thanks for watching. Comment questions. Uh, subscribe on YouTube stuff as always and we'll catch you guys next time.